My dear friends in Christ, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me to reflect on the third Sunday of Advent. The Gospel passage is from John chapter 1, verses 6 to 8 and 19 to 28. And the theme is, The Messiah is one of you. I remember uh, reading a story told by Father Anthony de Melo, and this is how it goes. A monastery had fallen on hard times. Religious persecution decimated it such that there were only five monks left in the monastery. The abbot and four others, and all over 70 years old, it was a dying order. Deep in the woods surrounding the monastery was a little hut which an old rabbi used for a hermitage. One day, the abbot decided to visit the rabbi to see if he could offer any advice to save the monastery. The rabbi welcomed the abbot and commiserated. I know how it is, he said. The spirit has gone out of people. Almost no one comes to the synagogue anymore. So the old rabbi and the old abbot wept together and spoke quietly of deep things of what to do. As the abbot was about to leave, the rabbi had this to say, I have no advice to give, but the only thing I can tell you is that the Messiah is one of you. When the other monks heard the rabbi's words, they wondered what it could possibly mean. The Messiah is one of us. One of us here at the monastery? Do you suppose he meant the abbot? Of course, it must be the abbot. He has been our leader for so long. Or could it be one of the other monks? Prior to this, the monks had been disrespectful and unkind to each other in the community. It was such that they could not see the Messiah among themselves. But as they contemplated the words of the rabbi, the monks began to treat each other with extraordinary respect and humility in case one of them might be the Messiah. Soon the villagers heard of the holiness and peace to be experienced at that monastery. It's aura that came with from the respect and kindness among the five old monks, and this attracted others, especially younger men who were searching for direction in their lives. After a while, one of them joined, then another and another. Within a few years, the monastery was once again a thriving order and a lively community of light and love. It was in witnessing and living the rabbi's words of wisdom, the Messiah is among you that saved the monastery. In our gospel for this weekend, John the Baptist's reputation of humility and holiness has led some to believe that he was the Christ. But to anyone who asks him, Who are you? He would declare, I am not the Christ. John knows his place. He does not allow pride, envy or jealousy to cloud his thinking. He does not pretend to be greater than he was, but direct others to Jesus instead. He said, among you stands one you do not know. He is the one who is coming after me. And I am not fit to undo his sandal strap. John the Baptist is thus inviting us to see that he is a witness to speak for the light, but that he is not the light. He knows who the light is. Among you stands one, he says, opening our eyes. The Messiah is among you. His message is, the Messiah is among you. And with that, I invite you to have two questions for reflections. 
Have you been tempted to lead, let people believe who you are not? Or have you pretended to be someone else? The second question, how can you pre redirect and point out to those who are lost and tell them the Messiah is among you? And so with that, I have now to pray the prayer of generosity. Dear Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toy and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save that of knowing that I do your most holy will. Amen. And may you have a joyful third Sunday of Advent. God bless all of you.